the NFL on EA Sports, and the game of the week is just moments away. It's the Jags and the reigning Super Bowl champs coming up next. It is a sound like no other when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle. And we just heard it, and that means it's time for football at Lumen Field. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. longer as this defense is out there needing a stop on first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there. Going A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? Wilson now to throw on third down. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. This defense backed up now as they're looking at a first and goal just inside the 10. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. This is caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Robert Tunyon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down. It's Carson, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close. Fit. 
And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing... Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. On third down, Lawrence. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And down to the seven yard line. They're able to convert. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And yeah, that ball is caught by D.J. Chark for the touchdown. Jags touchdown. D.J. Chark, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an off. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Play action. Now Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. This offense, they've got a really nice drive going. And now it's first and goal. Can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets them about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down, Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Will Disley, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helps score us in the first quarter. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. On second down, it's Carson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 88 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Patrick Ricard, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. 
And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Keeping this offense out of the end zone has to be considered a must here as this defense can ill afford to go two scores down here in the second half. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards there at a first down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Yeah, he's got it. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being good. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Russell Wilson and company in the red zone as we'll jump in to see what the Seahawks can do here. To throw again is Wilson. And this is caught for a touchdown. Now hold everything here, flag in the backfield. This one might be coming back. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Carson. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Behind the chain, second and 13. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now on second and 13, Wilson, left side here, taken in by Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Oh, there's that man again, it's complete. Touchdown! Will Disley with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Time winding down. This is going to be a huge drive. Let's see what the offense can do back out onto the field. On first down, Wilson. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Carson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now it's Wilson. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw complete here on target to Tunyon. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Back to throw. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll look to throw. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. He's back to throw. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Back to throw. Caught on the slant. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll look to throw, and this is caught. Touchdown, and they've taken the lead here. Pretty tense spot here for this offense. A field goal would tie, a touchdown would win it, but they've got to move that football. Good news for them, they do have all three timeouts remaining. There's Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. They'll get 34 yards there. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. They'll run on first down. Carson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. run got three now here's second and seven they run again with Carson and he works it past the 30 almost to the 25 and with four seconds remaining they will call the timeout so just enough of a cushion there to bring on the field goal unit and try to send this one to the extra session and now with four seconds left we get a timeout call And his kick is right there. It's good. And in the fourth quarter. 
Well, this one certainly has not lacked for intrigue. Well, let's keep playing. What do you say? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm loving what we're seeing here. This is a heck of a game. And now, guess what? A kicker may decide it again, and the next one that does it wins it. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Jadevian Clowney, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And that takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Jadevian Clowney make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Gonzalez's kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend on. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well taken. Yeah, kick the field goal, you push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown, finish the game off. That has to be the mindset. They go back to Carson here on second. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. Now what can Wilson do here in the OT? Over the middle into traffic and that's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. finish and as you noted were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going and that wasn't good enough for them they got the touchdown and that's why we're able to say goodbye so for the Seahawks they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12 and 2 on the year and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, it's a loss that could hurt come playoff seeding time as they fall to 11-3. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts.